Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you're all doing well. If you're new, welcome. Please do smash that like and subscribe button if you are new. And if you enjoy the reading, do keep in mind this is a general reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. So Virgo, if you want to get a personal reading with me, there's a link in the description box. My readings for July are heavily reduced or heavily discounted, quite inexpensive. So definitely take advantage of the opportunity. Yeah. All right. So let's see what's going on here, Virgo. What's going on for you, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? What is going on for Virgo? Okay, not enough. Wow, frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. Oh, okay. And you also have Cupid's arrows again. Have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation. Yeah, that's still happening, Virgo. But I kind of feel like you, oh gosh, you got the Grim Reaper. What the, what the heck, what the heck? Let's see. The relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform your life, okay? So, somebody's still very much in love with you, although they don't feel like um, they're ever going to be enough for you, and they know that this relationship is only uh, is over, and you're not taking them back, okay? You're done. Point blank, period. Virgo is one and done here, okay? Let's see. You've got the magician. Let's see what's going on here. What's going on here with you? Virgo's like, look, I don't want the love. I don't want the offers. I'm not trying to make any decisions about this. I'm manifesting new starts, new beginnings, have other options. And I'm not so really into something here anymore. Okay, that's you saying this. So yeah, you're very focused on what you're doing in your life at this time and you're just even not sure to some degree um maybe you're a little bit apathetic towards love at this time and it's like uh, fuck it oh excuse me <laughs> eff it <laughs> it's just like mm, no i think i'm just going to like forget about it forget about love i'm just gonna do me yeah so i'm kind of picking that energy up right now Yep, trying to maintain a positive mindset, be successful, do the things you need to do for yourself. It just kind of feels like, you know, I've with the Cubist Arrows, though, I do feel like someone is really, they really want to, like, connect with you. But I don't know, Virgo, I kind of feel like you're just indifferent to someone. It could be a Gemini, it could be a Leo. You just seem indifferent there's not enough there for the relationship to keep moving or you view this person as like complete grim reaper <laughs> you're done no second chances let's see it's interesting yeah too much stress virgo so many lies so many cheats you're, you're done with it too much stress here okay too much causes you too much anxiety <clears throat> You're trying to be with the sun right there in the center and the sun being the center of the universe, or at least our, our area here, you're trying to be in like the center. You're trying to be the center of your own, of your own life, right? At this time, I just feel like it's, you know, too much. I don't know. Somebody just too sneaking around or you're just saying no. Okay. You're just saying no. You want love with somebody else maybe, or you just want to have a new beginning in your life. Let me get a clarifying, clarifying card for the magician. Show Virgo. Oh, they gave you two. Okay. Yep. Back off. I'm protecting what's mine. <laughs> yeah. Virgo for the, you're really Virgo. You're not playing whatever a situation is here. You're standing up for yourself. You know what you want and you're going after that and you're you're basically just it feels like you're just pushing back you know like you're protecting the vault you're protecting your treasure and you're pushing back i feel like you're just in, in this magician mode like manifestation totally focused creativity you want success you want good things to happen in your life for you going forward so you're making some strong uh chess moves here let me see the sun. What's going on? Oh. 
Oh, yeah, you're tired of being left out in the cold. Get some of that heat and melt all that snow. Virgo, you know what? <laughs> you must have felt like this for some time with somebody. Somebody was just leaving you broke, busted, and disgusted, feeling kind of out in the cold, and you're done. You're done with that. So it's too much stress. There's too much anxiety attached to this Grim Reaper energy. In July, it looks like you're doing something here. You are... Adios, everybody. You're doing you. Okay. You're doing you. So that's good. Let's see what this other person is going on with this other person. How are they going to react to you? Just not giving them any time of day. Huh. Well, of course, they're going to put you on a pedestal with the Empress. Maybe it's a Libra or a Taurus you're connecting with. Put you on a pedestal. See your worth. See your value. Standing up for yourself. I don't feel like you're trying to do anything here. It's just whoever this Grim Reaper person was, they were just sneaking around and either sneaking around or they were just lying or being deceptive that kind of thing and maybe betrayed you or maybe they ran away from the relationship caused you too much anxiety or in and out kind of energy so you know what are they going to do hold you in high regard because you're you know you're creating value valuing yourself is creating value okay what do they say um hold on let me try to remember Access is contempt. People who have access to you all the time hold you in contempt. I don't know what the heck that means, but somebody needs that. Uh, no longer an access. Oh my gosh! Look at them here. Now they're gonna. Now they're gonna. <laughs> I feel like this person just kind of felt like they didn't have to choose, and you'd always be there. Okay. Looks like you're not being there. It looks like you're done, and. Now they're standing here like, uh-oh. I need to make some plans here. Three of Wands. I need to figure out what's going on. I'm reaching out to Virgo, and I'm not getting anything in return. Virgo's not responding. Virgo's not messaging me back. Uh, I'm going to have to go get Virgo. <laughs> Jeez. I'm going to have to go get Virgo. I am so passionate about Virgo. I want Virgo back. I need to keep Virgo where Virgo belongs. Locked up in the dungeon somewhere. <laughs> All right, let me see. In my pocket. So, yeah, you just cut it off, Virgo, and you just push back on um, that Grim Reaper energy. And I'm not talking about, like, your person that didn't treat you badly. I'm talking about someone who was lying, who was dishonest, who caused a lot of stress and anxiety in a relationship. That's the person I'm talking about, okay? That you're, you're like, listening to this, and you're like, yeah, this person's going to come out of... Whatever hermit mode or silence they've been in, um, in a reaction to you, okay, um, they're definitely going to come in with some lusty, flirty energy for sure. A um, little bit of romancer kind of energy as well. Um, someone who uses like the lover boy, lover, lover girl technique to try to like reel you in a little bit here. I feel like this person. You know, um, it could be a, another Virgo as well. I feel like this person, um, you know, with the hermit has been kind of like in hermit mode, just not really talking, no communication. In the reverse, um, I feel like they're going to start opening up here and communicating with you and trying to, yeah, just flirty messages or something like that. Yeah. Uh, well, Virgo, I mean, you know, whatever. So sick of giving messages like this because it's always like, dude, why don't you just recognize value? But maybe Virgo, maybe some of you weren't showing your value, right? In the sense of like, maybe you were too available or you were always letting somebody come back in. Is Whose lesson is it? Is it yours? Is it theirs? I don't really know, but I just kind of get a sense where... I feel like this person is going to abandon ship and swim to your shores here, wherever they've been, out there on that, that rock amongst the waves, just all by themselves. Um, yeah, so here they come. <laughs> here they come, Virgo. The rest, at least from now until the end of July. They're coming to get you, Virgo. They're coming after you. I mean, they're going to try at least. They're going to try. What you do with that's on you. 
you want to talk to them talk to them if you don't you don't know you got unrequited love so for some of you it's basically like you know there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going and that's what i was saying not enough right here not enough not enough just to keep it going there's frustration in this relationship losing confidence this person self-sabotages due to fear and ego and jealousy okay so i feel like for you virgo it's like nah we're just not right for each other i don't necessarily feel like the love is not there i just get a sense where the love is not enough there has to be like you know more it has to be like some kind of somebody has to commit here and do something you know like i don't know but if you don't want them to anymore that's fine because you have love options coming in lack of control issues virgo allows situations to just unfold naturally in your life you know um leave this leave this thing alone that's what i'm hearing just leave it be leave it alone very soon you will be able to decide what you want so that it comes to you now um if you have a decision to make in regards to this relationship some of you might be kind of like hmm they might come this person might come back in and you know try to reconcile with you and the decision you might have to actually if you haven't fully made it i mean some of you might have just stopped talking to another person and nothing got confirmed as far as like breakup or separation you might have just like ghost might have been a ghost situation so for, for but if you ghosted a really long time or you were ghosted and you didn't chase somebody i feel like right now um this energy is some there's going to be some kind of contact and i feel like you're gonna have to like actually say something you might have to actually address it and say you know whatever you need to say about this relationship whether that's you know i don't want it anymore i'm sorry wish you all the best that kind of thing or don't call me anymore or i'm changing my number or something along those lines like a decision to say something is what i feel okay all right yeah this person's going to come in and apologize for sure to you they're going to try to and you can expect to hear that but i mean is it sincere it could be um but it feels like based on this reading it might just be because you know you're done you don't feel like there's anything here it's not enough for you um I mean, maybe they weren't a Grim Reaper. It may just have been a situation where it's like, no, it just doesn't work for you. And you change your mind. This could be somebody that you've just been dating for like a couple of weeks. And it's just not going the way you want it to go. Um, it's just not, you guys aren't jiving. <laughs> I don't know where I got that word. You're not gelling. You're not vibing. Are you not jiving like some 1970s pimp cat i don't know you're not jiving with each other and yeah i feel like this person wants to jive with you though virgo they want to jive with you oh yeah because they think you're the twin flame and they don't know shit about twin flames so <laughs> maybe this is a twin flame connection for you that's what all this struggle is all about virgo for sure lessons to be learned here oh my goodness oh my goodness i mean you know you do what you got to do virgo if you want to work it out with your twin flame have at it i can't tell you but i know that there's some kind of there's love and then there's struggle at the same time you know deep intense passionate love and then this severe struggle and anxiety where you're almost at the breaking point like completely stressed and mentally exhausted and you are your intentions are good with yourself to get out there and do something some of you want to have children and this is a situation that never felt like you could have that with this person um maybe you had children with someone else or maybe not but it's kind of like that's your for some of you that is a goal for some of you for others and also i will say with the empress here this person may be like yes i want to have i want to have that baby mm. too oh boy what a confusing mix because i do feel like if they're not going to come in with puppies and pizza holla in the chat um they might come in with the uh, the children thing 
you know if you want kids i know not all of you do okay so don't this is for those of you who are still at the age where you can have children or to adopt children um there may be an issue also with children connected to this relationship there might be um some conflict with grown adult children as well i'm feeling that has caused a lot of problem maybe somebody's son or daughter is a grim reaper in this relationship okay there's rejection here man this is stuff stuff total stuff oreo stuffed this is an apology from a twin flame a rejection issue children being important to this topic virgo now i feel like this I mean, I don't know who's feeling rejection. There's some kind of rejection, which is actually, it says divine protection. So, you know, I don't, for some of you, there might have been rejection where, where it's like, oh, man, I didn't realize what a blessing that was. And now I'm going to keep it moving here. All right. So you've got passion. Try something you've never done before. And marriage. This relationship will is moving towards a secret union you know just because a train is heading down the track doesn't mean you need to board okay just keep that in mind you know you can always say no about things you know or it might have an issue to do with marriage maybe you're already married to someone and this is some kind of a relationship that was interfering or maybe you were in a relationship with someone that had was married to another person who had children um, for some of you okay and for others yeah I mean marriage with the twin flame yeah but look how look at all the look at all the ups and downs in this twin flame relationship we got apologies and then there's passion which keeps you guys connected and then there's all this rejection and then you guys it's almost like you guys are together and then someone feels rejected and then there's an apology and then the passion heats up and then there's rejection again and then there's another apology it almost feels like a cycle where nobody's really like the the soul contract is not officially been broken yet it has to be broken so i don't know if that's like i feel that they don't just get broken. I feel like that's why people go for years and years and years and years and years in these cyclical, toxic relationships. I feel like someone has to break the cycle. That's when the soul contract, I feel like, ends. When someone has had enough and has learned the lesson, and then they end it. You know what I mean? Is a struggle. You know, go back to Monday's reading. Or Sunday, Sunday's reading positive energy for the rest of this week. But I do feel like you're going through some major shifts right now um, in your life. Your focus is on your better health and your better mental health and making your relationships better. Really, really important to you at this time, as they should be. Okay, so let's see what other messages there are for you here. Oh. Okay, yeah, look, transition. There you go. The end of suffering is upon you. Out with the old, in with the new. No one said this would be easy or that it has been. The season in your life is transforming, bringing you into a new hemisphere. Allow it to happen and go with the flow. It's now time for change. So I kind of feel like no matter what happens, someone trying to get you back or not trying to get you back, you're still transitioning. You know, that's a, a little bit of that world energy where it's like a new chapter for you in your life. Having this new start. Okay. And taking time to reflect. So when it comes to this relationship, for a lot of you, I feel like getting distance, going into your cave, taking time to regroup and recollect. A lot is going on. You need some alone time. You need to create distance from a toxic kind of relationship. Stay in the stillness there and in the quiet, but don't get lost there. Don't stay down there too long. Just take all the time you need. You can tell other people you're taking a vacation or you're just taking some time to yourself. Just whatever if you feel obligated to say something to other people or to this person but the thing is put yourself first you need a recharge so put yourself first you can say i'll get back to you or yeah i'm going on vacation 
talk to you next week or whatever, whatever you got to do, whatever you got to do to kind of protect yourself and figure out what it is you want. Like be, I, I just feel like it's the most important thing is to get distance from this. The most important thing. Um, I'm not going to make this go on too long because I didn't realize, but my battery is almost dead. So we're going to shorten it a little bit tonight. And you also have hope, though. Getting your hope back when you wish upon a star makes no difference who you are. Dreams come true. Your hope, faith, and wishes are being restored. Make a wish right now, Virgo. Pause the video. Make a wish right now. Believe it is yours. Okay. Yeah. So where are my... Let's see who what the Chinese signs are between you and this person. Let's get a little more clarity. <clears throat> if the video, you guys, if the video stops when I'm in the middle of the reading, I may just leave it as it is, okay? Um, but I might not. We'll have to wait and see. So if it just happens to stop, um, my apologies. <laughs> you can expect the apology on here. I'm sorry. And we'll keep it going. Okay. Year of the goat. Year of the dog. Year of the horse. Tiger. Pig. Snake. Tiger again. A monkey. And dog again. One more. And a rat. Okay. So that's you or your person. All right, Virgo. I can't believe how fast the reading went. It's only like 20 minutes. All right, let's see. Huh, okay. Yeah, somebody's sitting on the beach drinking a Mai Tai, that's for sure. Or will be in July vacation. Could be a family vacation or going somewhere with family, doing some kind of family vacation thing. Um... Oh, geez, a lot, of beach, a lot of beach energy happening right now. Sitting, thinking about decisions, taking maybe a little time out, sitting by the water, could be a beach, could be a pool, could be wherever, a lake, sitting by some water, um, thinking about the family, thinking about marriage, thinking about happily ever after, um, taking some time to figure out, um, Maybe just taking some time out because you're unable or unwilling to make a decision at this time. Following your heart rather than trying to make others happy. Pretending maybe there is no problem or just kind of taking the time out to just ignore it so you can get a little peace of mind. Some of you might be overanalyzing the situation as well. Okay, something to do with, like I said, somebody who... Yeah, just was a real cheat. Caused a lot of stress. Caused stress to a mother figure or a mom as well. Um, now I just want to say, also, I see someone cutting a steak, or eating a steak, and I also see like a jewelry box, going through a jewelry box, um, and someone playing, um, some kind of outdoor game, I know for some reason it's really hot, maybe it's an indoor, outdoor kind of game, with some kids or some children, also, maybe it's like indoor um, mini golf or something. Okay. Oh, right. Um, also connecting with some old friends as well, or childhood friends, or two kids meeting for the first time, two little kids playing together, meeting for the first time. Um, okay. And I'm also picking up 1972-1967, and I'm also picking up September 10th, and Leo, Capricorn, that's double Capricorn. And Libra, okay, September 4th. Uh, September 9th, mm, August 26th, August 29th, um, September 21st, someone is 60, someone is 46, someone is 19, um, area code 610, 
they're giving me. Or 601. Okay. Someone is 54. I have number 510. Um, 5315. 8109. So they might be phone numbers. Um, something along the lines there. And also... Taurus again, Leo, Aquarius. Let's get one more. Aries, Sagittarius, and Gemini. Hello, Gemini. You're always here in my readings. What's going on? All right, let's get some charms before my camera dies. Oh, it's interesting. Okay. So, just one more. All right, three interesting little messages. Has a lot to do with animals, I will tell you that. So we have a rhinoceros, you have a, a feather, and you have a little, I don't know what those hot dog dogs are called. I always forget what they're called. So maybe somebody has one of those dogs. What are they called? Sh Schweiner, wiener dog or something. I don't know. You have a pet rhinoceros? I don't know what's going on with you. <laughs> I don't even know where that would come from. That's just related to something very old school. Like, um, not old school, but age, old. Something to do with age. <laughs> that rhinoceros. Someone who's like real narky, but maybe even horny. Someone who's old and horny. <laughs> what? <laughs> and also a feather here. Okay. Um, so obviously the feather does represent as always an angel wing um if you find a feather see a feather somewhere that's kind of like just like that it might be like a quill feather um that just fell, fell off a bourbon any kind of feather um significant maybe somebody's going to the zoo do they have rhinoceros at the zoo i don't think they do do they are they even are they extinct are they even alive anymore rhinoceros i guess they are i've never actually seen one i don't think I mean, I've seen hippos. Okay. I don't know what the hell's going through my mind, but I just keep thinking. Like, a, a Jurassic Park keeps coming to my mind. Uh, it's not a triceratops. <laughs> but I don't know. There's something weird happening here with these charms. I just... That's what I'm picking up here. So I'm going to leave that there and let you figure that out. You know what? I just want to get one more. They just were like, you know, just get one more. Maybe that'll tie it all in. Yeah, okay. So now we have a bird. What's with all the animals? What is going on? Dogs, birds, and triceratops. Rhinoceroses and feathers. You guys, something's happening here with, with animals. I will tell you that. Maybe there's this animalistic feeling of something going on or this, you know, that it is the Venus retrograde too. So a lot of time there is a res resurfacing of past people or issues that have to do with past people, whether it's energetically something you need to close out in your mind or something of a reconnection that does happen. I think July 22nd is when it actually starts or the 21st, but we're pretty close. You're already in the pre-shadow period. So yeah, keep that in mind, Virgo. All right, I'm going to leave that there. Hope you enjoy that. Battery's about to die. Don't forget if you want to donate to my fundraiser below, please do. Thank you everyone who's been donating or donate to my website with the missing kids. All the links are in the description box below. Help you find missing kids or trafficked children. And yeah, don't forget if you want to get a personal reading. Also, there's a link in the description box below. Do go and grab that as the discount is pretty awesome. All right, you guys, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.